Hello friends, I am Dr. Vaseem Sheikh. In this video, we will learn about hardening and tempering heat treatment. So let us begin. In hardening heat treatment, we are heating the material to the austenitic range that is we are completely austenitizing the material. From there, we are quenching the material. Quenching can be done in water or it can be done in oil. The only thing which we have to remember in quenching that we have to cool the material based on the critical cooling rate. That means we don't have to touch the nose which you are seeing here for the TTT plot of the eutectoid composition. So we don't have to touch the nose. We have to cool the material so rapidly that it does not touch the nose point and it is known as critical cooling and directly we are reaching the MS or MS that means the martensitic start transformation and martensitic end transformation. Here you are looking at the cooling curve which shows two different types of cooling curve. So, so if you see one cooling curve on that it is written surface and the other one it is written center that is showing the cooling rate of the material on the surface and in the bulk that is that means in the center of the material. So mainly that is the thing which we have to consider here when we are doing hardening heat treatment that is why hardening is most of the time followed by tempering heat treatment because when the outer surface and the inner surface both have different cooling rate the properties will differ there will be a temperature gradient which can produce some cracks in the material so we don't want that to happen that is why we are following it with the tempering heat treatment. So hardening produces martensite and some retained austenite. We know martensite is very brittle and it can fail even with some smallest crack which appears on it. So that is what we say it is highly prone to crack and distortion. In addition retained austenite is also there which is highly unstable because of that there might be lot of changes in dimensions of the material. Therefore tempering is carried out and tempering heat treatment in that we are again heating the same material but here to a lower temperature of about A1 so less than A1 that means we are just below A1 A1 is the 727 degrees Celsius we are heating below A1 at around 700 degrees Celsius and we are holding at that temperature for some time and then we are cooling the material how the holding should be done holding is done based on a small thumb rule that is 3 to 5 minutes for per millimeter of material how to cool the material now cooling is done either in air oil or water that is your choice because after we are holding the material the purpose of tempering is achieved and we have got rid of the brittleness of the material so just some additional information here which i want to share is during hardening heat treatment there are different different quenching medium that we can use so quenching mediums or quenching media are nothing but the source how we cool the material so here different different sources are available we have the brine solution we have some caustic soda we have water you know it can be cold or warm then we have oil we can cool the material in oil and we can also cool the material in air so these are different different cooling mediums which we can use each and every one of these cooling medium will have their own cooling rate and it can cool the material at different rate for example if we have brine solution it will cool the material very fast and as compared to oil when we are cooling the material in oil it will take some time for cooling the material so this is how we have to judge you know how we have to cool the material based on the quenching medium because if we cool the material really very fast it will be really very brittle also so that is also the case which we have to see so slightly compromise on the brittleness can be done by using oil but again you have to make sure that you are in that critical cooling rate if that critical cooling rate is not there then the medium is not important the medium is only important when you are achieving that critical cooling rate so these are the quenching media which are there so you have to keep in mind that these can be used for cooling any material during hardening variation of properties with tempering temperature now what is that let us see so tempering temperature is shown on the x-axis and some properties are shown on the y-axis properties like hardness and toughness is shown so if the material is very hard and brittle and when we are doing tempering we are heating to certain range for example maybe 200 degrees celsius from that range if we go on increasing the temperature the hardness is almost gone but the toughness of the material is increasing 
and there comes a time where both these hardness and toughness will cross each other that is the optimum range and if you want optimum hardness optimum toughness then there that is the temperature which you want to focus if you don't want hardness but you want very high toughness then you have to heat the material beyond certain temperature that is around 500 degrees or beyond that then you will achieve more toughness but you have to compromise on the hardness moreover here we can also see the internal stress so as you are reaching some temperature like recovery temperature all the internal stresses are relieved and you are not taking care of the internal stresses anymore it is gone and the material is free from the internal stresses so that was about hardening and tempering heat treatment which is very important from examination point of view thanks for watching the video all the best